Here we go. <laughs> the little smug lurk, uh, look on her face, too. Alright, here we go. We'll see if we can try. Boom. Oh, what's that over there? Yeah, he's gonna have to do this. Okay. So now... Gonna have to do this too. So that DK will do this. Oh, nice. Okay. Bounce damage. Brrr. So now that should be enough damage to uh, kill him off. In fact, DK can kill him while Rabid Peach can go for this guy. There we go. So now it's just one more guy left. Now if only the... Uh, if only the big guy was in the way. Oh, it's those guys? Oh, that's just great. Uh oh. Oh, they better not kill Rabbit Peach here. Oh. Oh. Okay, that was kind of bullshit. Well, Lisa DK is exposed, unless that guy is going to kill her. Okay, good. Whew, at least they're... At least these guys are dumber than the mid-bosses. Like, Christ. I don't know what was going on with the other guy. I'm going to have to... Yeah, we're going to have to do this. There we go. Alright, now we can try. Well actually, hmm. Oh no, I got I got an idea. Well first off, take a shield. And then shoot him. He should be in range for Donkey Kong. There you go. And now, Donkey Kong should do this. Oh. That's gonna spring me, isn't it? Heh, <laughs> <laughs> cowards. See how they run? They're out of my league. Okay, I think we're good. Yeah. Da -na 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 -na. Oh, fuck that shit. I had to do it in four turns as well. Fuck that shit. And that is that. I could just skip that. Holy crap, and that is that. Oh my god, if it wasn't for me hiding behind a spring block, I would have actually done it better in the first try. But now I did get it, so we're good. And that was only the seventh level out of 20. 
This is going to be some interesting strategy. It's only been like four and a half hours, so... Maybe I can at least try one more level and then I'll be it. But I never really thought... That this game was actually like that... Like strategic about everything. I never thought it would be like that. So here's another puzzle I can try. Um, yeah, it's that. Perfect. Yeah, at least I can do this stuff. In fact, maybe if I, like, do some of this off screen, just past, like, just some of the things that I've passed through that I missed, then maybe I can go for those. I don't have to show all of it. Is that a guitar? Imagine the metal storm of skull-rattling rock you can summon from the gods of Thrash if you could wheel this axe. I don't, I don't even know if that was a play on word or something. Alright. Stop the smugglers. Oh. I had to take down the smashers holding those bananas. Hit the... Banana loving bootleggers. Hmm. While this slovenly sluggard may look like a smasher, it's not. It's a smuggler. They're delivering bad bananas all over to the island to aid their corrupted colleagues. They must be stopped. Oh. Smugglers must be defeated before they reach the other side of the battlefield. If they escape, we lose. Oh, that's an interesting strategy. Okay, I never never thought they'd think of that one. Thought most of the stuff would be like escorts. Oh, that's right. I get some new weapons too. I didn't even think about that. So, we can look at all these new weapons, the uh the koi ploy. It's a fish. Hurt your hurts your enemies two ways. Does physical damage and leaves a gross fish smell on their clothes. Making for awkward social engagements. And the curtain call. Okay, this one's pretty cool. Make sure your enemies get the message with this vintage banana ring that incapacitates and teaches polite, old-fashioned phone manners. And then we have the Ziggy Zapper 2. Ziggy's may have mocked the first iteration of this ground pound or in for a big surprise and the Smasher Thrasher. Ideally suited for those short-templed simpletons, Smashers, or don't tell them we called them simple, okay? I might have to use this against them, but they would be smugglers, wouldn't they? <laughs> that creepy silhouette of Donkey Kong, good lord. Rabbit Peach gets the Pisces Crisis patient and impregnable <laughs> submissive and pregnable or whatever that was called this deep sea deployable may not look as mean as its coastal counterparts but when it pounces foes are pummeled and the undersea banshee from the haunted depths of the ocean comes from this diabolical deployable to herald the destruction of its enemies with its wretched war cry its primary is the Megalodon 2 Payback. Just when your enemy thought it was safe to go back to the battlefield, yet another monstrous marauder terrorizes the arena. And the Trawler Brawler. <laughs> Look at the texture on the, the front there. That looks pretty cool. Ride the tide to victory with this beachcombing bad boy. Guaranteed to shred your foes into flotsam and jetsam. Surf's up. He has exploding elegance. Is that a bow? Rabbit Cranky lost his Sunday best. Then he found out that rabbits recycled it into a finely tailored boom bow. Papillon and all. And the Deadeye Dino. Rabbit scientists were also were so preoccupied with whether they could, they didn't stop to think if they should, develop this dino hybrid. 
the Shellin Melon. Things get hot on the battlefield? Why not offer your enemies a bite of juicy, refreshing slaughter melon? 0% trans fat, no GMOs. And the Bombin Ramen. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> Step 1. Tear open the lid. Step 2. Pour boiling water inside. Step 3. Wait for 3 minutes. Step 4. Enjoy kicking your enemy's butt. Chopsticks not included. Oh, that one looks like a pineapple. Speaking of that, though, I actually went to a Korean barbecue with Amanda and her friends because it was, uh, Tan's birthday. You probably know Tan for one or two of the episodes of, uh, Animal Crossing New Horizons. <laughs> they only showed up for that part. I think it was like the New Year celebration. They might be showing up more in other playthroughs in the future, but... They were very amazing people, and it was her birthday last, or, yeah, it was on the weekend. And I had to go, like, all the way, like, as far as I can go east from here through the subway. And it turns out, getting up to Kennedy Station, you can just simply find a bus that goes all the way to Toronto Zoo. Which, for six years living in this apartment... I did not know this, so I don't even know what the hell I'm doing here when I should have been at the zoo after six years. I've been there, I've been there once. I'm gonna actually get the koi ploy. I would have to like, shoot him up front. Yeah, let's go for that. He just climbs. <laughs> That's crazy to think about. I was gonna say, can he attract him from here? Yes, he can. Holy shit. But he's not even gonna be in range from my ground pound attack. I was gonna say, though, if I hit them, would they actually, like come to me or or are they just going to keep running to the goal I'm actually going to have to figure that one out myself meanwhile I think Rabbit Peach is going to go for the ones on the right oh God, that's like massive. Yeah, I'm gonna have to actually figure out if they actually do come after me. <laughs> right. Oh, shit. Ah, <laughs> uh, they don't. Okay. So... I may have to shoot him and then put him to sleep. Or he's just gonna come after me. That's great. Well, bam! Oh, God. That wasn't intended. But we're going to put him to sleep anyways. Ugh. Oh, great. You put me out of bounds, too? And we're just going to shoot him off. Ow. How dare you, sir? Yeah, I'm really going to have to be careful this time. Okay. So now Donkey Kong is going to have to do some stuff here. Like, show your stuff. Um, 
Actually, yeah, maybe here. Oh no! Don't shoot me! Boom! So now... <laughs> what will Cranky Kong do, though? Actually, I'm gonna have to make him move and then do the freeze thing. Yeah, maybe that should work. It's like so effective, too. Boom. That's two. So now Rabbit Peach has to do her own work. And actually make him come over. It's like a 50% chance, too. So we're gonna have to heal ourselves. Yeah, we're gonna have to make him come over. Or he's just gonna move two spaces. What the hell, man? Alright, let's see what happens. Oh, that's cunning and close. Boom. Ow. What the fuck? Okay. Now, I think I could just kick him. Oh, that's not even going to reach him, is it? But it's like 100% shot on him. <laughs> kick him in the nuts? Jesus, Murphy. Yeah, we're going to have to yeet him over. If we can. <clears throat> uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, did I... Oh, I maybe I was too far from it. He's like two steps further from it. I can't even. It's like cutting in close. Like if he doesn't get enough space or if he, he actually, I'm gonna shoot him from here. Yeah, good. He's coming up this way. I don't care if he hits me as long as he's not coming to the goal. Oh my god. Okay. Now I think... Oh, I can kick him or... I can kick him. And then hide. I think that's what I'm going to do. Ow. It's just like one more big guy. That's pretty much it. I wonder what he even plays on the Donkey Konga. In fact, I can't wait to play that game, though. It's going to be, like, so weird. I'm probably just going to, like, play it on the Dolphin emulator. Since I can just use the keyboard to play it. Alright. Now he's just gonna run away. Oh, okay. Uh, 
I guess that's how we're gonna play it, huh? Ooh, hang on, uh... <clears throat> I think we should do Donkey Kong first. <laughs> we'll grab him. And then throw him away. <laughs> we'll take him farther away so that we can shoot him. Oh my god, that's so genius. Boom! Oh, that took him out of bounds too. That's amazing. Alright, that should be it. Oh, man. Let's go, buddies. <laughs> See, now, now that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> it's like my uh, Donkey Kong Country playthrough. I can't get enough of the jingle. Alright, so... I think that should be able to do it for now. I can't believe that boss fight that I just went through was like a, like a big waste of time. Well, wasn't really a waste of time, but it went on for so long because I couldn't find the right strategy. So I think after these next few puzzles, I'll stop it there. Uh, that looks like it's the way, which means I can just go this way. I love these bananas. Yeah, I could never re I could never really like find a really great strategy to farm coins in this game in general. Just to even get like all the good weapons in the game. Especially like the golden, well, I think the golden weapons are free if you do like the challenges. But getting every single weapon in the game requires a lot of coinage and a lot of farming and it's a drag so maybe I would have to look up some sort of strategy to do it I'll do that one and then we'll hit the blue one Then I'll just have to hit the red one. Or no, the green one. Oh. Hmm, okay. Oh, now I got it. Okay. <laughs> it was a bit tricky at first, but I got it. Beef on the reef. I even just realized, too, I'm, like, way too short for the webcam. But, yeah, as soon as we get to the next fight, we're gonna have to stop it there. I think I went through that way? I'm gonna have to check this one out. <laughs> My precious! It reminds me of Botticelli's The Birth of Venus, only instead of divine perfection, it's more horrid revulsion. This little Roomba really fucking thinks that the rabbits are a waste of time. <laughs> this motherfucker. <laughs> this motherfucker. She'd be like, ah, shit. Them again? Hmm. I can probably see where this is going. Yeah. 